as vibrational beings transcending psychological season, clock, calendar time. So let's go through this phrase together. And it goes like this. Interact with the non-physical aspects of reality. Expand consciousness. Break free from the constraints of time and space by focusing our brain waves to harmonize our frequencies with those of the earth and the universe. And when we do that, we enter mm. into the heightened consciousness and we tap into a state of timelessness and we are able to stretch time. Today's topic isn't easy to assimilate. It will challenge what we know. It will test our beliefs. And it will show us new things we did not see before. This topic will not only test our beliefs, but it will show us the new things we did not see before. Things that are based on quantum mechanics and neuroscience. We are so much used to calendar clock time and to phrases like time waits for no man, time is money, do not waste time, which are ways we engage in to play the physical solid plane game of the third dimensional earth. This is where we measure time according holding to the changes of our physical body from birth to death. This is we measure time according to the events seen and experienced as having occurred in the past and anticipation of future events. When we are deeply immersed in this reality, it might not be easy to consider that beyond the material physical perception there is an absolute realm of timelessness where past, future coexist in the present now moment simultaneously. We are in the process of awakening and we will realize that everything around us is an illusion. Mm. An illusion in which we have been trapped in for so many years and this is something quite strong to assimilate because we realize that most of society and ourselves are still remaining trapped in the illusions of time. We still remain trapped in the illusions of separation, still remain trapped in the illusions of death and the illusions of physical form. When we finally get out of that trap, we start making changes that we would never have made before and we stop doing many things that we were programmed to do. We must dare to exit the mental cage. It is a mental cage indeed. And only then we'll be able to achieve liberation of mind, to see things with a different perspective mm. altogether we'll feel like we've removed a costume that we never needed. And the most difficult part, when we finally get out of this trial, we will find that there will be a need to purify our psyche in order to connect with the higher self. And when we do that, we will have elevated our states of consciousness and we'll be moving to higher vibrational frequencies and we will be able to interact with the non-physical aspects of reality. We'll expand our consciousness and we will be taking that consciousness out of the physical aspect that is restraining us and keeping us in the limitations of time and space. 
And we do this very keenly mm. by focusing our brain waves of the right and left hemisphere and the brain waves of the data of the theta of the alpha and the gamma to frequency and harmonize with the universe's frequencies and the frequencies of Earth. These energy and electromagnetic fields of the Earth can affect our bioenergy of the body and the brain waves. In order to give us coherence and give amplitude and frequency to our brain waves output, so that we can be able to convert our energy and heal our bodies, access new information, and block energy blocks, and release that bioenergy in order to turn off a switch in our brain that is preventing mm. our vibrations and energy from rising. And that's when we begin to start to see life as a gift, not as torture. And this will stimulate the pineal gland that acts like an antenna that sends and receives cosmic signals from the universe and blocking our energetic mechanisms and enabling us to increase our vibrations. And this is going to affect not only our spiritual physiology, but our human physiology and mental physiology as well. And I know this session will be able to take you to that other level. Because we get to, to a stage where we, in our evolution of consciousness, we are no longer separating the past mm. and the future. We get to a point where we are effortlessly more present, where we are free from the ego mind. And at that particular time, the space between thoughts grows larger when we are awakened and when we are in the now present moment. The now present moment is that container for everything that happens and keeps changing where we are not seeing that which is relatives and is changing and mistake it to be the absolute and the unchanging. When we are in the present moment, we understand that time is a measurement of our ego mind. There is no time but the now moment. Time isn't our enemy. Time is an illusion. Time is a construct of the ego mind. And it causes us to be entangled like a spider's prey, breathing in this wave of destruction and death. And we find ourselves lamenting against time with mantras like, I just haven't got time. Where does time go? But the moment we get into the here and now, we will understand how mistaken we've been all our years. The ego longs for bliss. And it wants to escape. What's happening in the anxieties of the present. So the ego wants to escape. And it wants to keep itself into the pain of facing what we have become. Trapped into materialism. Fear, those romantic longings, and the toil of work that we need to do. But all those are invitations for us to get in the present here and now. Our souls knows the truth of who we really are. We are timeless, effortlessness in the present here and now. And this bliss is ours, not by escaping into another time, but by being here and now in the present magical, miraculous moment. That's where we are meant to be. 
in every activity we are meant to be doing. But we strive to escape into a better time, which is not better at all. And this striving keeps us trapped in the pain of suffering. If we got to know that time is a series of now moments strung together, we would be tuning into who we really are. And we would realize this magic in our midst on a daily basis in every activity that we find ourselves doing. And we can practice being mindful and develop a state of awareness which allows the present moment to unfold without memories of the past disappointments and without anxieties and fears and worries about what is going to happen in the future. And when we do this, we are allowing the mind to focus on the breath. And we can breathe fully in order to live fully. Because breath is that universal heartbeat connecting us to the infinite moment of the now present magical miraculous moment. Each breath arises and then dissipates forever trying to connect us and tie us to the present moment that we are in right now. As we focus on the breath, therefore, we eliminate the illusion of time. We can slow down time and be present. What a gift it would be to give to our hearts and to give to our mind and to give to every activity that we find ourselves doing so that we can be mm. able to bend time and reality and do so much more in less time. Are we ready for the day? How many unnecessary things do we find ourselves doing each time? Are we living out our creativity or are we robots marching towards extinction? Can we reorganize our priorities to do things that fill our soul instead of destroying it? Most of us are focused on that book that I have to read, that book that I have to get published the long queue of list of things that I have to do today. And if we were able to see all these as calls to be present in the moment, mm. we would be able to express our true self, the timeless, effortless, spiritual beings in the here and now. Not the self-acting from programmed beliefs and limited constructs of the past and anxieties of the future. We have escaped the hardest actions of destruction. We can arise anew in each moment. Time is just relative. It is a tool of the ego. And to, through today's presentation, we will be able to see how that is happening and why we need to be present in the here and now. Are we ready to move beyond the limitations of time, overcome the views about reality we grew up believing? Mm. Are we ready to make critical shifts in our perception of reality? Work and co-create with a unified field of consciousness to be present in the magical present moment of the now, to be timeless right this moment, to overcome cultural conditions, low level expectations, old habits and old patterns and develop new strategies to hold us to our higher self, When we reach that point, we'll no longer be isolated bags of skin dragging around a limited ego. We will be able to step into timelessness 
and experience the benefits of living in the now moment. Able to let go of past disappointments and future anxieties. And when we do that, mm. we'll be able to touch that place within us that is beyond turmoil, where the world of calm and pure joy exists. We will discover that our minds are stargates and our bodies are fields of mystery. And we will discover that we have been operating from inherited beliefs on how Earth and the universe and the planet works and behaves. We can awaken to the ability to steal the mind of its, of its incessant ruminating and accept what the present moment contains and work with it to transform our whole life in all the 13 areas of our life. And when that happens, we can be able to attract people and resources needed for our projects. We can know our calling and be mm. able to manifest our vision and have the power to expand, to bend time and not feel rushed through life. Not get rushed through life. That is the key. The world is open for us in ways that's never been. If we get into the timelessness, present moment, and all kinds of possibilities, synchronicities will begin to occur. And we will feel ignited with a sustained fire in our belly to keep us moving with every activity that we find ourselves doing. Let us now go to slide eight to look at the table of content of what we are going to be looking at today. Mm. We will be looking at, does time exist? The timeless magical now present moment and what it actually means. How we can bend time and reality. We will be able to see timelessness as a gateway to creating a reality and effortlessness as a great phenomenon. And we'll end this presentation with a timelessness meditation, which is our true essence. Let's go to slide nine and look at the first content of our presentation today. I want us to get to these three statements that are written on this slide. If we could make them our mantra, it will get us to get into the timelessness, effortlessness, present moment of the now. The past mm. is a memory. The future is imagination. And life is eternally present. And it is an infinite succession of nows. Everything we experience or have experienced or will experience by seeing it, hearing it, smelling it or testing it or thinking about it or feeling it physically or emotionally occurs in the present moment. Nothing occurs and nothing can occur outside of this present moment. Therefore, what we think occurred already or is occurring now or will occur, it all happens in the now. And when that happens, time doesn't exist. We can't live in or revisit the past or move to the future. There is no future, there is no past, there is only now. And there are two truths that are going to help us to be in the present moment now. Truth number one is that we exist only and always in this infinite moment, the eternal moment that wasn't born and can never die. The second truth is Awareness is all there is. We are the very awareness that we seek 
and there is nowhere else to go. Let us go to the next slide that gives the second presentation that we are looking at. The timeless, magical, now, present moment. The illusion of the psychological time is the greatest barrier to living in the present. When we find ourselves dragged into the past or the future, we get ourselves into the psychological time of present, future, and past, and we separate ourselves from the present magical moment. And this timeless, magical, now present moment is a place within that is beyond turmoil where calm and joy exist. It isn't to cultivate this moment in a world that is overstimulating. Because we find ourselves doing one thing while thinking about another. And this distracts us from being in the present moment. So the timeless state of joy resides in our inner kingdom as we go beyond the endless thoughts of our fears. And we are able to embrace the now present moment, which is our true nature, which is our true self. And we awaken our life and we become free from fears that possess the mind, fears of the past and fears of the future. And our mind can be freed when we are in the, in the moment of the now. This moment does not have a beginning and does not have an end. And this moment is a big moment because it's always here with us. It's not going anywhere. Past and the future exist in the present moment. What if I was to tell you that we live in two lives, in two different worlds? One world is of thoughts that are locked in our head, continuously thinking and worrying about the past and the future. The other world is a life as our experience in the present now moment. If you were asked to choose between the two worlds, which world would you choose? The world that keeps tormenting you with continued thinking and worrying about the future and the past, or the world within that gets us to experience the present now moment. Which one would you choose? And if we choose to be in the present moment, we are choosing freedom. Because freedom is having fewer thoughts and being present. And now life becomes life and it is fully lived when thoughts get diminished. But is it easy to diminish our thoughts? We'll be seeing that in a moment. So how can we expand stillness and silence and be able to diminish those thoughts? Number one, we have to be able to balance from living life in our head towards living life more present in the present moment of the now. Two, we have to focus on our breath. Mm to focus on what activity is right in front of us in the now moment. Three, taking long walks alone in a forest or in a park and doing meditation as you walk. Four, spending time alone in nature and in practicing gratitude. Five, in those activities like yoga, yoga, like tai chi, like dance, music, and singing, and gardening, knitting, and cooking. 
And when we are doing these activities mindfully, when we are focused on these activities, we can be able to tap in the present moment even when we are washing dishes and we can be able to focus wow. intimately and feel the sand between our toes, feel how our feet feel bare as we are walking barefoot on the ground and be able to continually bring back to the present moment whatever activity it is we are doing. we can learn to notice those things without thinking about them. And we can be able to shift our attention away from thoughts about things. When we put attention to the task that we have right in front of us, because this is what is going to decide and to determine whether we are living in the present now moment or whether we remain tapped in our thoughts. Because right now, if I were to tell you that we can be able to bend time and reality and get into that timelessness when we have complete absorption in any activity that we are doing, sense of space and time will disintegrate as flow. Well. And that is the magic of the present now moment. That is the magic of the present now moment. Let us now keep quiet for the time being and see what this present now moment is. It is a sense of oneness with everything. We are physically and mentally present. And we are deeply connected to everything and to all life. And it is that presence where we are in the unified field. And we are able to co-create with the unified field. And we are matching our formless being with the formless of the infinite creative realm. We can learn to be in this present moment without getting lost in between thoughts. When we learn to focus intently on each activity that we are doing. And according to Eckhart Tolle, he says that whatever the present moment contains, mm. work with it miraculously to transform your whole life. Let us look at our third presentation, Bending Time and Reality. Bending time and reality, our third content. We will be able to see that psychological time is a prison. It is a prison that restricts us from the freedom of stretching time. The freedom of being able to do more in less time. And when we are able to do more in less time, we are breaking free of the illusion of time. But we all know that breaking free of the illusion of time mm. isn't easy, but the benefits can be life-changing. What is bending time? Bending time is entering into timelessness when we transcend time and there is no awareness of time. 
Have you ever been involved and crossed so much into an activity that before you know it, four, five hours have passed and it seems like only a second since you started the activity? That's what I talk about when I say that we can bend time. And when we are able to find ourselves doing work, and getting engrossed in an activity, and we perceive it as if it has taken seconds when it actually took hours. That means that we have been able to raise our vibrational frequency, and we have been able to stay focused on our vision, and we are moving into that ultimate reality where we get to that point of zero gravity, of zero time, of zero shape and form, where we are healed and united, where we, are we have connectivity to everything. And that particular time is a moment of zero plurality and zero duality. At that moment, there is no temperature. We are at zero temperature. We are having supreme consciousness and we are riding the waves of creativity. At that moment, we are simply wave. There is no physical particle. Mm. And thought becomes matter. Mm. We are in that unlimited source of energy. We are more mind open and our heart is open and expanded. And we can be able to expand and bend time to move past our limitations and accomplish more and create an extraordinary life. And we can be able to, expray, to exp experience true time freedom from matter, particle, and the third world of density and material. The next slide that shows the fourth item of our presentation today has to do with timelessness as a gateway to creating our reality. Mm. Timelessness as a gateway to creating our reality. Timelessness is freedom. And timelessness is our true nature. When we find ourselves completely absorbed into an activity, we are focusing all our mind and heart onto that activity. We are in the present now moment. And that disappointing thought about the past will not be able to come into this present moment. And that anxious thought about the future will not be able to come into this present moment where we have a complete absorption in an activity at hand. Because this is where sense of space and time disintegrate as flow. This is mm. when the mind gets still. And the sense of separation disappears. Are we ready to begin practicing from today, being fully engrossed and absorbed and completely into that activity that we have to be doing at this present moment? This is the secret to bending time and reality. This is the secret to effortlessness and this is the secret to timelessness. And this is when we get to creating our reality as we want it. When we tap into that unified field of timelessness, mm and get to that higher vibrational frequency, we match the frequency of the reality that we want to create, that reality that we want to be. 
And we experience expansion and the, and the collapse of us consciousness falling back on itself. And we become who we are meant to be. And life flows into effortlessness. And we are relaxed into the ultimate. We are relaxed into the unified field. And life will no longer be a burden to us. The next slide that has the fifth item of our presentation, effortlessness as a great phenomenon. Effortlessness mm. as a great phenomenon. <clears throat> what is effortlessness? Slide 23. Effortlessness as a great phenomenon Effortlessness is that warm glow of timelessness where events flow effortlessly into each other, where we will experience the emergence of flow states as they appear spontaneously by moving beyond the thinking mind. Close your eyes for a bit right now and experience for yourself this effortlessness. And most of us have been mm. swimming into this ocean of effortlessness, but we've not been knowing what is actually happening. Have you, been, have you ever been in a moment where you experience that effortlessness where there is emergence of flow states where one event is flowing into another and into another effortlessly as if by magic and it takes you by surprise and you had not planned for it but all the events one from the other are flowing without your effort at all and it seems so blissful and so beautiful and it captures you into that aha mm. moment and you get to feel that joy in your heart and you find yourself reverberating with joy in every cell of your body. This is what surrender is. When we have surrendered into timelessness, when we have gotten out of the constrict of the time, of the psychological time of the calendar and the clock, are you ready to get to this moment where you'll be able to see events flowing effortlessly, appearing spontaneously one after another without your mind walking through the how. This is the magic. When we are able to bend time, we get into timelessness and then we get into effortlessness mm. where we will be able to see events flowing spontaneously one after another without us trying to control the outcome. And this is the magic of being present in the powerful, magical, miraculous moment of the now, and that is our true nature. And as we end our presentation, let us get into that mindfulness, into that moment where we are able to tune into who we are. Let us get to slide 29, the last slide, so that we can go through this meditation together. Get comfortable. 
and focus not on your physical body, but on that space in space beyond your body. Into that inwardness of spaciousness within and without you. Take a couple of deeper breaths than usual and bring your attention to feeling the flow supporting you. Mother Earth supporting you and feel that energy, feel those vibrations, feel those electrons going into you from Mother Earth. And as you take in the breath, Feel those electrons coming from the high vibes of the universe into the breath as you breathe in. Continue to breathe in more deeply, focusing onto that inner space that has no form, that inner space that has no effort, that inner space that is open to the dimensions of the here and now, where psychological time is going to be forgotten. And feel the relaxing effects of this light. Taking all the time it needs to move mm. into your feet and to move through the entire body, up your knees, up your neck, taking all the time it needs. And as it does that, it brings with it a sense of timelessness. It brings with it a sense there is, there is no rush. There is no need to hurry. We are in the present, magical, miraculous moment of the present now. As we take in each breath, each breath ties us up into this moment that is always here. Now imagine a place where you've never been before, a place that you have permission to do absolutely nothing. That place where you can feel that you don't need to exert any horsepower, no effort at all. A place where you are free to do absolutely nothing. This is a place of the present moment now that nourishes you. It could be a place that you are visualizing right now. It could be in nature. It could be a waterfall or it could be in a forest. Notice what you are wanting to draw to this place. What do you want to feel into this place? Begin to imagine the music that could come into this place that could nurture your soul mm. and put you into this space of timelessness, into this space of effortlessness, and into this space of the present magical moment of the now. And this music is the music that we feel that we sense with a sixth sense when we become still. And you get to perceive it when you gently repeat to yourself, I am the light of my soul. I am bountiful. I am beautiful. I am bliss. I am timeless. I am effortlessness. I am. I am. 
I am now. I am the present. I am. I am. I am. Tune deeply inward within yourself to find this place of stillness, this place of peace, this place of timelessness, this place of effortlessness, this place of the timeless now moment. Mm. Knowing that there is no rush, knowing that life supports you fully and completely. Feel yourself dissolve into spaciousness. Feel yourself dissolve into boundlessness. Feel yourself dissolve into formlessness, into effortlessness. In no place, no thing, no form, nowhere, and in no time. Remain in this space. And when you are ready, get back into the room that you are in right now. Rub your hands together to retain that high vibration that you have created through this meditation so that the energy, the high frequency that you have gotten to, that higher consciousness is embodied into every cell of your body. So that as we get out of this meditation, you are able to live and practice living embodiment of your higher vibrational self and of your higher self able to look beyond the psychological clock of time and getting into that spaciousness of timelessness, of effortlessness, to be who you are meant to be. Timeless, effortlessness, vibrational being in the present, magical, miraculous, powerful moment of the now. With this, we end our presentation. Namaste. Mm. Enjoy your day. Let your day be fruitful today as you practice getting into the powerful moment of the now. That's when we'll be able to change every area of our lives. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste.